One, two, three. Yeah. How was quarantine? It was good. I mean, I've done a fair bit of quarantine now, so I'm a bit, I sort of know what works and what doesn't. So, um, but yeah, real glad to be out. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's obviously exciting when you get a phone call, you know, to, to be uh, participate in the IPL. So when I got a phone call and stuff, it's, you know, exciting to be part of the IPL. Like I said, I've never been part of it before, so this is my first year. And it's always, I'm looking forward to it as well, just to be, to be, part, to be part with that player, adult player, just to be around and, you know, get that experience and, and, and see what, you know, what, and see what it's all about. It was completely unexpected, to be honest. Um, we're playing a ODI series, a T20 series in Sri Lanka now. Um, after one of the games, we were sitting as a team in the, in the team room and catching up after the game. And um, George, the manager, um, messaged me on WhatsApp just mentioning who he was and what his role was and just wanted to know if I would be available. Um, so it was quite unexpected and I didn't think too much of it. And then um, sort of in that next 12 hours after that, um, things just happened quite quickly. Um, they confirmed it and you know, obviously I was over the moon and quite taken back from it. So um, it was an exciting journey, it happened very quickly. Um, but all in all, super grateful and, and like I said, very excited. So it was about day eight of my 14 day quarantine, again in quarantine. So um, yeah, I was already delusional at that point. So I didn't know if it was real or if it was fake or a dream or, but yeah, I got a call after I woke up. Um, and at this point, I'd just been told I was in the World Cup squad as well. Um, so it was sort of like two massive bits of good news that, you know, I, I'd been dreaming of, of as a kid. So it was um, surreal is the only word. I was sort of just in my room. I was just pacing up and down, pacing up and down, you know, um, starting to bowl to myself in the mirror and all that sort of thing. It was, yeah, obviously crazy and um, just so stoked. Um, obviously, a legend of the game, you know, he played for India for so many years and broke records and he's you know, one of the best leg spinners uh, ever to play the game. So, you know, for myself to even work with Anil now, definitely, I'll, you know, I'll be picking his brain and, and, and you know, trying to learn from, from him and, and see if uh, I can pick up things. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a powerful squad. Um, naturally, there's your legends, yeah, like you've mentioned, KL, Mama Chami, um, and you've got guys like Gail, and Nicky P, they're all just coming in favour in Ireland. And my young is here as well. So there's some really, really powerful players here and T20 legends and current legends that are still playing. And it's going to be nice to rub shoulders with them once we get the opportunity too. Um, but having mentioned those big names, I, I look at around the training tonight and just some of the local players are um, incredible. I think the amount of talent that India has is obviously mentioned lots, but I think to see it physically live has, has been something that's surprised me and, and something that's exciting as well. Definitely, you always have to fancy your chances, regardless of the situation, you know, but you've got to take it a game at a time. You know, obviously you can't be looking too far ahead of, you've got to win all six, you've got to make sure whoever's in front of you when on that day try to, you know, win and take it a game at a time and then hopefully that will take a bit of rest. But like I say, it is a challenge, but you know, I'm sure the boys believe that, you know, it's possible and I'm sure everybody believes that it's possible and we're working towards that. <laughs>